breaking news. Police stop a truck driver with a hammer in hand at a market basket protest. Demonstrators cheering as police officers arrest the man. Employees faced an ultimatum today, go back to work or get fired, but they ignored it and reinstated their demands. Here's the scene in Chelsea where they used grocery carts to spell out ATD for Arthur T. Demoulis. They say they'll return when he's back as CEO. Now, fortunately, even with tempers flaring, nobody got hurt. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Jack Williams. We'll take a look at this picture of the arrest. You can see the man on the ground and a police officer holding the hammer. Ken McLeod is live in Tewksbury right now at the Mar Market Basket headquarters with late details. Ken. Well, Jack, thanks a lot. Uh, most demonstrators are gone for the day, as you can see behind me. Of course, they are normally quite resolute to their cause, but these events have tended to take on uh, kind of the personality of a picnic, if you will. There has been very little trouble on the so-called picket line. That is until this afternoon. Roast lamb was on the protest menu today, and so was defiance. You know, the line in the sand was drawn a month ago. And to my knowledge right now, none of these people have walked across it and have no intention of doing it. Apparently, few, if any, office or warehouse workers returned to their jobs today, despite a FedEx warning to more than 200 Arthur T. loyalists that they'd be fired if they didn't. We won't go in until we win. So, ATD, RDT. But week five of demonstrations by rebellious workers sparked a brief and scary incident this afternoon. <laughs> when a trucker crossing their line here at company headquarters exchanged angry insults with them and hopped from his truck with a hammer in hand. Before he could swing the hammer, before he could even raise it, Tewksbury police tackled him down to the ground, uh, took the hammer from him and subdued him. It's known in this community as the supermarket of the poor. Meantime, in Lowell, on the site of the Demoulis family's first grocery store in 1917, pastors from several low-income communities urged a speedy resolution, arguing the market basket debacle is hurting the consumers who can least afford it. There is an old Kenyan proverb that says, when the elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. But at a market basket not far away, openly defiant posters remained in the windows. And so did sales receipts from competitors taped there by boycotting shoppers, despite orders from company leadership to remove them. I am surprised. I am surprised. I think the CEO and the board of directors and Arthur S. really need to wake up and see what's going on. Back at company headquarters, the protesters' unyielding tone is tempered with concern that if this dispute cooks much longer, everything may burn to a crisp. Hopefully it'll come to a resolution today or this weekend and we won't have to. There is no one that wants to be here Monday. No one. About 20 minutes ago, current market basket leadership condemned the actions of the hammer-wielding driver and thanked police. They say the driver and the company he worked for have been terminated effective immediately. Live in Tewksbury tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you. All right, Ken, thank you.